Hi guys, so um, we sometimes have a bit of an issue with the with the dash cluster globes where, um, and I'll just switch the ignition on, I'll show you, see, um, um, we, you know, some of these super select display globes blow or, you know, we might have in the the light light in, uh, globes go in any of these sort of, uh, these sort of gauges here. Um, so, but um, I'm just going to quickly, I'm going to replace this one down here. I'm just going to quickly just give you a quick, quick uh, um, view of how to get this dash cluster out. Um, I usually start by um, down here. There's a little, there's a lever down here. You just find it. There it is. So usually I just, and then I, what I'll do then is, is I'll, um, I, I move the steering wheel all the way to the bottom position, um, and then what I do then is is usually just, um, you know, get the wiper stalk out the way and the indicator stalk out the way to give me a bit of clearance, you know, when pulling it out. Now, there's a couple of screws. There's one either side of the cluster. There's one just right there. And there's then there's another one just over in here. So there's the two screws. So there's the two screws, um, and I hope you can see that. There's two screws either side of the, the fascia, and then there's one over the back there. There's a tab that sits on here, and then there's another tab that sits on here. So what actually happens is you take these two screws out, and this cl cluster then pulls, pulls back out, like so. You can see that, and then it lifts up, and then out, okay? So at the moment, you've got the carpet sitting there, but see how that's lifting up and out? But we've got some wiring in here on this side and we've also got some wiring on this side so they're just plugs that you can just pull out um so that gets that and that, that'll get the fascia off so that's that's all you're doing here is getting getting the um the cluster fascia off so you want to just undo those sometimes you need to use a screwdriver just to lever them out a little bit but there's tabs on them don't force them you'll break them Okay, just be very careful when you're pulling them out. So as I say, don't try and force them. But I think the one, the one to the left-hand side over here, I think that's a bit of a pain to get out. But I think the one, this one here, is pretty easy. So what I'll do is I'll just get those plugs out, and um, and then I'll look at getting the actual dash cluster or the cluster out. So okay, so what I've decided to do. I can't get that yellow one to come out. Look, I've got it out before. It's the worst one ever. I don't even, yeah, if somebody knows how to, you know, get that unclipped in there, I've tried everything. But I use a little, and I'm sure if I wanted to persevere, I, I could. I just can't be bothered. I don't need to. So what I've done is I've just, I've just put it all back out the way there. I've just lifted it back. I've undone done those two plugs. I usually just use a little screwdriver just to get in there because my, little chubby party sausage sized fingers just probably don't do the job really that well um yeah so just uh i've left the i'll leave the other one in there so now we just need to remove that screw in there and uh that screw in there and then that one up there so there's the three screws um and that then allows you to pull the dash cluster back out the way and in behind that there is a um, just a, a plug that just plugs into the back of the dash cluster but you'll just need to pull out and then that comes out and uh, I'll show you how that uh, how that all goes yeah so in behind the cluster you've got you've got a, that black plug there and you've got that white one there and then right over in the other side you've got a small one that just comes out so again you just push these little clips in these little, see the black here, yeah, the white one, and they generally just pop out. It's not really a one-handed job, so I'll just put the camera down for a second. I'll pull them plugs out. Yeah, so there's actually there's two plugs there. There's the white one and the black one. Again, you've just got to shimmy them out the same as uh, the same as I've done those two. So again, I just use a little screwdriver just to deal with these. If I can get that over to deal with these tabs. They're a bit hard to manipulate, but uh, 
Yeah, so I'll pull those two out of the other side and the dash cluster will come out. Okay, so as you can see the cluster's out. So those two wires there came from the um, fascia panel um, for the, uh, the fog lights and the, uh, and the uh, cruise control. And then this one come out of the the right hand side of the of the actual dash itself, the cluster. Um, so the white goes to the top plug and the black goes to the bottom. I don't think you can mess this up. Um, as you can see, I've still got the yellow plug still still in there, playing the bum. I'm sure it comes out somehow. Or just be yeah, just be careful when you're wrenching on it and everything. You don't break anything in there. I mean, maybe you should persist and pull it out. So, and the green one obviously goes to, there was no need to pull that out, I guess, really, but, um, that, so that goes to the, uh, um, hazards and the, uh, and I think, uh, rear demister or something, I think the other one is. Then you've got over to the, um, left-hand side of the cluster, actually lied, there's three plugs here, there's the, the, the bottom white plug that goes into the bottom of the, of the cluster, and, uh, then you've got, uh, this middle one here, um, that's also to the right of the cluster, just a small, two pin one and then you've got a black one um, that sits at the top of the cluster okay so that's it all pulled out um, so what we what we've got now is we've got the back of the, the actual cluster yourself and you can see all the all the globes and uh, and so forth in there um, it's just a matter of twisting these little sockets out and replacing the the T type globes in them and uh, and putting them back it all back together and you, you should be right so the ones i'm going to fix are down in here um i did play around with it with, with the uh with the notion of maybe replacing these i bought a uh, uh, an led kit for it um so an led kit's great but um so but these things i think there's something to do with the polarization or something of these um, of the LEDs and something you can put them in back to front and they just don't work and you gotta pull it out and turn them all around again but anyway um, I'm gonna have a go at uh, fixing that bulb for now so I'll show you how I do that okay so I actually pulled that plug out I just spent the time and actually did it I mean there's nothing no trick to it it's just a matter of pushing this little tab in but it's just it's just obviously a little bit when you've got it on, on the on an angle or something like that it's just a little bit hard to same as this one it's just pushing down this little this thing here just you can see the little tip it's got like a little yeah well uh, you get my you get the drift same as all of these right? so, so i actually pulled it out because i didn't want to break anything again and uh just a bit of a clean in there maybe before i put it all back together um yeah but that's the cluster out so and uh so now we've got it in the car there, so we're going to have a look at maybe swapping out some of these for LEDs. Um, I'll show you the kit that I bought. It's actually a, a kit. Just search eBay for the kit. I can't remember. I bought it year, oh, not years ago. I bought it 12 months, 18 months ago. And uh, in with the intent to replace them all, but, you know, um, as I said, the, the issue with, 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 with doing LEDs is you... I, I'm, yeah, you've got to have them the right way around, otherwise they, they don't work. And, and pulling it in and out, plugging the plugs in and out, I really don't want to damage anything. It's really just a, a thin plastic um, circuit board in there. You can see that just, you know, and I don't really want to bust anything. Um, you know, so really just, the less you, you know, you muck around with the back of this, the better, I reckon. But anyway, as I said, um, We'll, uh, we'll swap out at least the super select globes and uh, we'll take it from there. Right, so back at the cluster. So you've got these four here are the, um, they're the four for the super select. So the way they come out is they simply just twist. So you get the, if you get your little fingers in there, twist them. And then just pull them out and there we go that's the led one okay so we know that one works so that just goes back in there's just little tabs on there and they just push in flat and then they just twist around and then this will be the top one again that just comes out like that and you've got the little um 
the little globe in there, the little element. So we'll swap that one out for the uh, the LED one. Okay, so yeah, so I'll pull these these little clips out or yeah so these these three that are in there so so these are the in saying you, these are the globes i don't know whether you can see that but it's a little t globe um so that just actually slides in got that little spade bit there and it slides into the black socket so it, yeah so they go in and out of that that black bit there, I think you get the drift, so you can get them from Autobahn. Um, I think they're a T4, um, but I'll I'll find out before the end of the video and and make sure you know. Um, so in terms of the LED kit, so these are the bits that I bought to replace those globes. I bought it as a kit off eBay. Um, and then I have, I think these are the green ones, the indicators. And I think these are just the clear ones with the blue spade bits on the end. So we might try replacing those as well. Again, I got them off eBay. And uh, so, Let's have a go at replacing those. So I've actually got some spare. Got my little. I can get them out, but I've got some spare plastic pieces that I think I might have had a second one that I pulled the the globes out of. And so these simply just you get these here, and they simply just pop in like that. And they just so they just pop in like that and they just they just slide in and you just push them in like so yeah so and they replace the globe so now the deal with this is now we put it in and um, just hope that we've got it the right way around so we've got to test it so we just put it in so we do that with the other three globes and then we'll pop it back in the dash and see how we went so I'm just finishing up the last few um, globes in here. So what I haven't done any of these around here, but I've replaced these four in here, which are actually blue globes, or they're a clear globe, but they've got a blue plastic um, or rubber cover over the top of them. I guess that's to stop clear and whatever else. I'm not sure, but I've replaced them with those bigger ones with with these ones here. Um, replaced the two indicator ones up here. I've replaced them with uh, a little bit tight to get in and out with those. Um, yeah, so, and I'm replacing, just finishing off replacing these three here. So these three here, just finishing those. Um, as I said, I haven't, I've done one, two, three, four. I've replaced that one, but I haven't replaced any of these. I don't know what they actually are. <laughs> Maybe I'll plug it all in and see what they are first. I mean, it's, it's not much to pull this back out, to be honest. Um, but so, I'll, uh, so, so what's happening here is, is, is I've got a little plastic, um, screw in plug things and I'm just putting this 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 one in here and just yeah just pushing it in and then I'm just popping it in here just finding the little groove and then flipping it around so it's in there nice and tight um, yeah so it's going to be a bit of pot luck I think with these I'm not sure <laughs> You know, with this getting it the right way around, I'm not sure if it's going to, how I'm going to go with this and whether it's going to be turned into a bit of a nightmare um, in regards to, yeah, so I need another plastic, little plastic clip. So 
as I say, you just gently use the pies like that and just you just wobble it out like that. Okay, just be being careful not to press too hard, just enough pressure on the globe to, to get a grip. So I'll plug, put that in and I'll put that in the last one. So now, and that's it. So you'll notice that some of these, um, there's no nothing in them. Well, there's no, there's no copper there. So they're not obviously active for this particular dash or cluster. Um, so there's no point putting anything in there. Um, there's one missing over here, so I might, I might replace that one while I'm out. I don't know. At some stage, I guess, you know, they're, they're not easy to find, these things. Or well, I, they weren't easy to find. So maybe they've just been, you know, they've just been um, pulled out of somewhere and put into something from one, say, location to another, if you get my drift. So maybe that might be some particular warning light that that the person before me decided they didn't need. Um, I'm actually also using the pliers to just nip them around. It's a bit hard to get my fingers in there. So again, so that's them all replaced with the LEDs. Um, so I'm gonna go plug this back into the dash and uh, light her up and see what happens, see how many work and see how many don't work and see which ones I need to spin around opposite, you know, opposite poles so they, so they light up. So let's, uh, let's go out and have a look. Okay, so we're back out in the car again um, and I've plugged all the plugs in at the back there, the five plugs, and uh, I'm about to switch the ignition on. Wouldn't it be good if they all started to light up? Sorry about the glare there, I can't help that. So let's, um, Let's turn the ignition on and uh, see what we get. Turning ignition on is a two-handed job when the steering wheel's unlocked. Right. So, so I've only got the one working down there. Um, okay, so those two globes, those two up the top there are for those. Um, so I had, I've got no engine light coming on. The park up the top works, so you can see that, but then the others don't. See, so this is the problem you're going to have, right? So that means all of those there need to come out and be spun around the other way. So this is going to be a bit of a pull-in, pull-out um, sort of job. Although in saying that, you should only have to undo the plugs on maybe that side and just just open, the, open it out. It's probably going to be hard to see if... Uh, I have any illumination in there doesn't look like oh yes I have I can see there it's really pretty bright just there but I'm not seeing really any. it's hard to see sorry it's you can see the blue there see the blue down the bottom there right so that's telling me that they're working up there that's working that's working in there I'll let the windscreen wipers work um, so yeah we need to flip a few um, around to, and uh, so we'll We'll stop the camera and I'll just flip a few around and um, I wonder if, how are the indicators going. So we need to actually um, it's interesting that I don't have any indicators at all. I thought they would be working um, without the car being switched. Oh, I'm not sure if it's got something to do with these fogs being out, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'll, work, I'll look at that in a minute. But that's interesting, I don't have any indicators. It's always the way though, isn't it? You fix one thing and then happen to stuff up something else. But anyway, let's uh, let's pull this out and change some bulbs around. Yeah, so the two bottom um, super select work now, so I just flipped them around, but you know, now I'm thinking about it, I really probably need to um, put it in um, in four wheel drive to get the top two and the center diff lock to work. But um, yeah, so and look, to be honest, I'm I'm pretty sure that the indicators aren't working. I will test it, but it's a consequence of not having the hazard lights plugged in. So let's I'll check that later on. But anyway, so um, uh, so the two bottom ones work. Now again, I'll just uh, I'll just go through this bit by bit, and it's a bit, it's a bit hard in the light, but. I definitely see the blue there. 
and uh, I definitely see blue in there. You can see the C and the E are blue. Um, so that might be uh, this might be a bit of a suck and see thing, and but I'm not seeing any blue in there anywhere, or, or am I? Maybe I am. I think I might be, to be honest. So this might be something I need to check in the night in the night time. But look, you get the drift, okay? So I'm not going to go through this, and I'm not going to put you through that boring process of of uh, um, flipping out the the uh, LED globes in the holder and, and, and so forth because it you know could take a little while and um so I'm really just going to I'm not gonna screw this this dash cluster back in I'm simply just gonna um put the uh put the uh the, the cover back on so I'll put that back on and then I'll um you know when it gets darker or if I can maybe even drive it into the shed and get some so I can actually see I even put a towel over the top of my head and the dash cluster, I suppose. One of the anyway, I'm dribbling. So that's what I'm going to do. So look, so this is basically, this became, this was just, I was going to replace the globe. But it's really turned into a uh, a dash cluster LED conversion, I guess. But it's easy as. So I've just bought the kit off eBay. Um, and I'm not sure how much it was. I just typed in Gen 2 um, LED um, dash cluster convert a bulb convert something like that just search for it um you know um if i find a link i'll put it in the description but uh yeah so uh that's that'll pretty much wrap this up um you know and uh if you liked it give me a thumbs up please subscribe um i've got some other stuff coming out soon it's just um bits and pieces i'm actually really enjoying this and and i'm getting some good feedback from from people uh, I've, I've actually got an Instagram and a Facebook account happening now for this where I put a heap of different stuff up Okay guys, well, it's all uh, back in and uh, I've got all the globes up and running. I just had to turn around a few around just to change the polarity um, But essentially now I've got um, and I'm hoping these will come up I'll turn the ignition on and you can see that I've got um, you know the engine lights and and uh, the other lights coming on I've got those coming on um, the full drive lights are all fixed I've got all the uh, the gear um, lights illuminating um, I've got you'll see the blue hue coming through on there um the bottom one doesn't light up so just and the reason behind that is i did rip the um the uh circuit board that's it. it's really thin guys so when i was pulling a plug out i noticed that i've actually ripped it so um and it just happens to be that one that was going to that particular illumination globe down there so i'll fix that somehow um, I don't know how yet, but uh, without trying to have to replace the cluster, the, or at least that 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 piece anyway. But um, look, that'll do for now. Um, but yeah, look, thanks for watching. I hope uh, this helped in some way. Um, yep, yeah, like and subscribe, and uh, Instagram and Facebook. Check out some other stuff I've got going on, um, and uh, I've got some more stuff coming up real soon so um check that out when it comes out so thanks very much bye